Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to Smash Factor TV again. My name's Natalie Adams. So today we're going to have a look at the best position to get you into at the top of your backswing if you want to make a fantastic golf swing and hit your best golf shots. So let's go and have a look at what your arms, your wrists, your hands need to be doing to get you into a much better position at the top with some more game changing golf coaching. today's video tip then we're going to have a look at how to get to the top of that backswing in the best position to make a great downswing and get through impact um, now I'm going to put a link into the video here to help you with that takeaway because what we talked about uh, in a previous uh, episode was how to get that takeaway into a good position here and to stop opening the club face up and we're seeing this really low club head position very flat position here and we want to get that takeaway much more into this position so we talked about how you can use a coat hanger to help you with that it's very briefly if you hold the coat hanger in your hands like this as though it's your golf club the hook of the golf hang uh, the coat hanger here as you're taking the club away if you're opening the club face up and getting a very low position with that club head basically you're getting too much rotation into your arm so the hook of this coat hanger is moving too much to the right and what we talked about doing was turning your body to the right but feeling like you're almost turning the coat hanger more to the left especially this hook part of it so if I really exaggerate you'd want to go like that and then turn your body and that will stop you rotating the hands and the arms over too quickly and giving you not a great takeaway where we'd see that you're getting that club head too low and behind you and that club face open too much. So today we're going to focus a little bit more on what to do from that takeaway position and how to get to the top. So if we get into our takeaway position there, so we've, we've rotated the body to the right, we feel like we've turned the coat hanger this way and we should be feeling that the coat hanger now is giving us some pressure onto that left forearm. And from this position here, we want to maintain that pressure, but we want to get the hand on top of the coat hanger. So into this kind of position here. So just do that once more. So we're taking the club away, we're turning the body to the right. As you turn the body to the right, you want to feel that you're keeping the hook of the coat hanger on this side of the, the arms. Feel like you're turning that coat hanger down, feel like you're pressuring the coat hanger onto your left forearm. Now from this position here, you're still going to keep rotating your body up to the top. So body's going to still rotate to the right, but you're going to keep this pressure of the coat hanger into that left forearm and we're just going to get the hands up so the hands up on top of that coat hanger so again if we just do that just with the coat hanger and the right arm on its own sorry the left hand on its own we're going to move back just pop that back into my pocket there guys we're going to move back into this position here and then we're going to look at keeping this part of the coat hanger onto the forearm but lifting the arm up into this position here. It's now got us in a really good position at the top so that when you're then swinging that club back, you're going to be able to get that position a little bit more easily rather than going here and then up to the top in this position here where we've now got this cupped wrist rather than a flat look in the back of the left hand, the left forearm, or even into a bowed position where we haven't got that club face as open. So you're gonna to start to strike the ball a little bit more solidly, and you're gonna uh, be able to control that club, club face a lot, lot more so it's not as open. So work on that drill as I've done there, just use a coat hanger to start with on its own, then put the coat hanger onto your golf club. And then once you're used to swinging 
uh, with that feeling, then you can just swap over to your golf club without the coat hanger on. Should be able to replicate the feel that you're getting into uh, the forearms, the wrist, the hand, the body with that position at the top. But it really will help you hit a lot better golf shots. It's another game-changing golf tip. Thank you.